All right, y'all, so for the sake of this video, I had to go heal because it looks like the last remaining stories we gotta hit up, they're all heal-based stories. So, uh, yeah, we about to get into this thing thing. First, intro. Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rise Vidya. And yes, as you can clearly see on the screen there, we are now heal, which means we got access to some heal stories. So let's go ahead and hit these up. I had the Viking Raiders on the podcast and we did a segment about the current Raw roster. Who's the biggest prankster, the messiest, that sort of thing. Guess who they gave the ugliest scowl and least likely to get a date award? <laughs> I've got your trophy back at the office if you want it. Huh, funny. Uh, so make Viking Raiders regret their words in the ring. Okay, I'm the heel, but yeah, you put me in a handicap match. Uh, come on now. This makes a whole lot of sense. Work the arms. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. <clears throat> oh, man. Just stopping every single part of his body. Oh, no, we ain't stopping until we see red. Just a barrage of stops. Ivar has lost any momentum here. Yeah, Ivar needs to find an opening fast. And where were we? Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Now it's time to put this away. Partner was right there trying to knock me off, but he couldn't. Still tapped out. Let's go. So impolite uh, Vikings is now complete. That was a one and done. So we can go ahead and hit up another one. With today's technology, I can watch wrestling anywhere. At home, when I'm out on the toilet. Oh, come on, everyone does it. Shorter matches are best to watch in the bathroom. Otherwise, your legs fall asleep. Anyway. As a favor to me and my circulation, think you can wrap up your next match in five minutes or less? So we got a carried over side match from the female ri My Rise into the male My Rise. So, yeah. I guess we can go ahead and knock this out. Alright, no offense to Ricochet, but this needs to be a squash. Dunskies. So toilet turmoil. Oh yeah, that was a story that we need to complete. So we knocked out two stories, which means we only have two stories left, right? Let me check story progress. Yeah, we knocked out 20 out of 22 stories, which means girlfriends in high places we need to hit up. And then we have one more mystery story and then we should be good to go. Uh, you know what I mean? We, we should be able to hit up SmackDown after this. So let's go ahead and see if we can knock these out. Uh, locations. Let's see, Mark for Life says, Cool victory from JV, and I was able to stand up successfully from the porcelain throne after watching it. Okay. Little, little TMI right there. And Robin Ray. Nice victory, JV, but I'm still trying to deliver this trophy to you. Stop avoiding me. Well, I don't want that trophy. With JV as WWE Champion, it's clear, it's clear what I have to do. He, he's got something I want. I've climbed a mountain before, and I could do it again. 
Uh, let's see, good luck with that. Uh, the, this Miss Drew McIntyre? No, I, I would rather say good luck with that. That's, that sounds like something I would say. I'm not like any other mountain you've climbed now. Now that it's mine, you don't deserve... What? You don't... Oh, you don't have a chance of regaining the WWE Championship. I think you're getting a bit lightheaded uh, up there in that mountain. Because you're not making any sense. Uh, that's probably enough of the mountain talk. Now run along and go play with your toy sword. <laughs> bruh, or stay... And stay out of my way. Girlfriends in high places. Oh, this is that story. Okay. Uh, not sure if you saw, but Drew McIntyre has turned his attention to me and my WWE Championship. Wouldn't shut up about mountains. Not worried. Just something to keep an eye on. Uh, I did see that. He keeps bothering me too for a championship match against you. Annoying. So, you'll help me deal with him? I can help, but I need a favor. Bianca Belair's also been frustrating me lately. Team up with me to take on Bianca and Montez Ford, and I'll see what I can do about Drew. You scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. I like the sound of that. Me too, and who knows, maybe you and I will make a good team. Hmm. And maybe more. Let's go. I know Mandy and I, we have a bit of a rough history, but uh, who knows, maybe this will be a nice little turnaround for us. I'm just saying. Yo, that's a nice sight right there. Okay. Okay. I see possibilities for a mixed tag with me and Mandy Rose. Mixed tag team that is. Even the commentators are already suspecting that there's something between us. Trying to go for that hot tag? I don't think so. No sell, no sell. We no sold. Two ass up. And over and eat that knee. And booyah! And we feel a little edgy. We feel a little edgy. Come on, Mandy. Keep you on cat bay. That's right. I'll stretch him. I'll stretch him. Hey, Bianca's stunned too. There we go. Here are your winners the Outlaw, Jason, J, V, and Mandy Rose. A big victory for both him and her. That wasn't just a win, Cole. That was a top level. Interesting, interesting. Probably one of the most enticing stories I've played so far. Did you see the looks on Bianca and Montez's faces when they lost? Priceless. I guess we make a good team after all. We do have a we do have great chemistry together, but let's talk about how I'm going to scratch your back now. Hmm. You mean helping with Drew or or what? <laughs> we flirting. We flirting with each other. Yo, anyway, uh, Drew's already won a number one contender match, but we can make his championship opportunity extremely difficult. Th thoughts on how you want to do that? Face Drew in a three-on-one handicap match. Make Drew... What? Make Drew face Braun in the same night? Put a 
five minute limit on Drew's title match. Uh, made Drew face Braun the same night. Five minute limit. Now let's make Drew face Braun. He gonna earn his shot. Let's let's give Drew a warm up match right before he faces me against Braun Strowman in an Extreme Rules match. I like the way you think. Now that we have that figured out, I'd love to discuss long term plans in person if you don't mind. If you don't mind coming up to my hotel room. Yo! We linking up with Mandy? Oh, snap. On my way. Let's go. Just announced uh, Drew McIntyre will face JV on WWE Raw for the WWE Championship with a curious disadvantage over the challenger. Wow, it's starting to seem like JV is in, is in bed with... Mandy Rose in more ways than one, but I'm used to uphill battles, climb the mountain. Speculate all you want, Drew, but one thing is for sure, there's no way you're walking away with my WWE Championship. Oh, and Mandy's coming out with me too. Let's go. Look at that. And we matching up too with our outfits. I mean, we got the same color scheme going on and everything. Bruh. Come on, Drew. Come on, you wanted it so bad. Oh. And eat the canvas. There we go. We're going to try this one more time. Oh, hell. Counter for that? Okay, good. We no sold that. Come on, Drew. And rock bottom. Let's get you away from the ropes. Oh. Damn it. Oh, crap. Come on, ref. Anyway, let's try this. I like how they ring the bell before they actually tap. That makes a whole lot of sense, I guess, in sequence. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion. And get your ass out of my ring with your slow count. Looking ass. Oh, yeah. Too sweet, me, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Nice try, Drew, but you never stood a chance against WWE's newest power couple, me and Mandy Rose, and still. And now we're going public, JV. Just kidding. I'm not ashamed to be with the hottest superstar on WWE Raw. Yo, Ma Ma Mandy be recognizing, you know what I'm saying? She put, she put that, that, that love and respect on my name, unlike, you know, some other power couple that embarrassed the hell out of themselves at a certain award show. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I hate to break up the love fest, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. You want to play dirty with me? Two can play that game. 
any of these DMs sound familiar, JV? Just because I'm hanging out with Mandy doesn't mean we have to call it quits, live. What the hell? Don't worry, Sasha. Once I get what I want from Mandy, you're the only one I want to be with. I mean, look, if I had nothing going on with, with Mandy, sure, I would love to have a shot at either Liv or Sasha, you know what I'm saying, or or one of my personal favorites. Can't wait to go to get out of here, but Mandy won't stop talking. As soon as I get over there, Naya, let's, let's talk less. Hey, look, I don't care what anyone says. Judge me if you will. Like I said, if I didn't have anything going on, yo, I, I'd take a shot at Naya, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, I ain't superficial, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, I, I could be down with the thickness. It is all the way gravy train. Bruh. What the hell is... What is this all about, JV? Clearly Drew knows there's no way he can stop us, so he's lying to try to break us up. Pathetic. Nah, you're the pathetic one. Uh, everything Drew said is true. Just sent a screenshot of the DM to Mandy Rose. Sorry, not sorry. Also sending DMs. To screen what see needs also sending DM screen grabs, Mandy Rose will take a a bit though because there there's so many. I've heard enough. No one embarrasses me like this, JV. We are done and you are done as WWE champion. You're going to defend your title against Drew again after you face Braun Strowman in an Extreme Rules match. Wow, Mandy, blocked. Not okay. See, like, as I was saying, like, I would have dated any of these other girls, but I mean, if you're going to do me like that, then uh, nah, we, we, we is straight. We is good. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyway. Man, them, them, them girls did me dirty. The following did me dirty. Like I said, if me and Manny didn't have anything going on, I would date either of those ladies. You know what I'm saying? But nah, they had to go and do me dirty like that. So now I'm like, whatever. And I'm sorry, Bron. Get you down. And this is going to be a squash. I know it's extreme rules, but screw that. This is going to be a squash. Because I'm going to make sure I'm as fresh as I could possibly be against Drew. Let's see. Mandy Rose, don't know how many more ways I can say I'm sorry. And... And are you sure it's smart for me to compete on WWE Raw twice in one night? Could, could move the championship match to next week. Better match if I'm rested and have more time to promote it. I'm blocking you to say this. Not a chance. Beat the hell out of him, Drew. It'll be my pleasure. Man, I was set up, I tells you. I was set up. Oh, now what's this all about? I wonder who she's going to side with. Certainly not the WWE she ain't siding with me, that's for damn sure. Uh-uh. Look at that. I beat Braun in a squash, and they still got me in yellow health. Ain't that some shit? Now what? How much more can the WWE champion endure? Hey Braun, I told you it ain't personal, man. What the hell? Come on, ref. He's a projectile now. Oh hell, I press Y. Come on. I press Y. Come on, I'm pressing Y. Thank you. All right, Drew. All right, Drew. Okay, wait. So there was interference against me. That means there's no DQ, right? Okay. All right, we're talking serious payback then. What the? What the? What? Okay, I couldn't get him back in the ring, and now all of a sudden he's taking over. What the hell? Oh, but he could throw me in whenever he wants. This is some bullshit. No. No, 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 no. No, we... I, mean, I wasn't trying to do that. I wasn't trying to do that. Get his ass up. No. We do this, 
by my rules. Get your bitch ass out of my ring. Speaking of bitch ass, I'm just saying. No, you get the hell off of me. Punk ass up. Over your dome, too. The punk ass up. Come on. Oh, you. I don't think so. I don't think so. Get your bitch ass over here. Come on. To the table. Damn it. I'm not trying to dance with him. I just want to do it on that damn table. I said get on the table. Punk ass. Get to that table. Why is it so difficult to get them on the table? Jesus! Well, he is clearly looking to destroy his opponent right now. And booyah! Now, get your bitch ass back in the ring. We done. Here is your winner, and still the WWE champion. And something broke. The outlaw, Jason J. V. This kind of win establishes. That's right. Still WWE champ. You might have escaped with your title this time, but I'm not done with you until you're no longer WWE Champion. I'm sick of people talking about what happened. It's so embarrassing. I see you unlocked. I see you unblocked me again to deliver that threat. Can we be adults about this? Were you being an adult when you were talk, talking up the entire women's locker room while you were with me? Point taken, but wouldn't you rather put this in the... What the hell? But we, well, wouldn't you rather put this in the rearview mirror and focus on being the talented, very attractive GM that you are? Flattery won't help you. Then I have another idea. Put me in a triple threat championship with championship match with uh, Drew and Braun. If I can beat them, I'll prove that despite our personal issues, I'm the best superstar to represent Raw as champion. No, you don't care for me, but I know you do care about what's best for business. I hate to admit it, but you do have a point. Fine, I'll make the match. And if you somehow win, I'll drop my vendetta against you. But wait, if I lose, then you continue your vendetta against me? Even though you don't want me as champion anymore? That kind of doesn't make any sense. I, I, I don't think the writers of this story really thought this one through. Um, I knew you'd do the right thing. And hey, maybe we can patch things up someday. Crazier things have happened. You have a way better chance of beating Braun and Drew. So I'm the heel in this story, but yet I'm at a disadvantage by facing against two monsters. Oh yeah, that makes that makes all the sense in the world. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that makes me a baby face. Ah, storyline logic. Gotta love it. And I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. We'll let these two wear, wear each other out for a minute. Why does Payback not have a LED screen and LED poles? It's 2022. Every event should be set up like that by now. Come on! What the hell? Shit. Get the hell off of me. I had him right there. 
dude, what is your major malfunction? Now you want to submit them. Come on. I'm surprised. Oh, Brown is a moron. He was posing. I get you in the, in the submission. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to take my victories wherever I can get them. But I mean. <laughs> Braun gets up. Well, I was struggling to get Drew in that submission hold. I finally get him in there. Braun, the, the, the dumbass that he is in this game, <laughs> decides to pose while I'm stretching out Drew. Like I said, I'll take my victories wherever I can get them. Thank you, Braun. I appreciate that. Maybe, or maybe it, that was the plan all along. Maybe me and Braun are going to form a faction. Hmm. Like my man said, stranger things have happened. Anyway, Girlfriends in High Places is complete. And I believe there's, there's one more story. I want to see if... Yeah, there's one more story. Um, I don't know what it is. It's locked. It doesn't say whether or not you have to be a face or a heel. Okay, it's not in the location. Guess I still got the WWE Championship despite facing two other men for it at once. Pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> it's not happening. Can't blame a guy for trying. True, you can't. Oh! Is it the Vince McMahon one where we can switch brands? Vince McMahon trying to get me saying that I'm part of some club. It better not be that that club, you know what I'm saying, where you made where you made some dudes uh, do, do 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 some do some things to your to your heinous anus. I'm just saying. Ooh, I would like a company. I like access to the to the company jet. Let's go. So I guess it's time to change brands. Maybe this is out of the story. So confirm story of the club. Is that the mystery story though? Heard uh, Mr. McMahon granted you permission to essentially do whatever you want. I guess my authority means nothing around here. Hey, hey, you you freaking kicked me to the curb, and uh, I gave you another chance. You didn't want to take it, and I, I, I can't be on the same brand with someone who's still, you know, harboring a grudge against me. So, you know, it is what it is. Hey, not my fault. I've become such a huge star. Facts. Whatever, let's just... Get this over with. Where are you headed? We is going to SmackDown. SmackDown Hotel. Ba -ba -ba -boo. You'll be seeing me on SmackDown. Fine. If you ever want to come back to Raw, doors always open. All the doors are always open for me now. Member, just go. <laughs> member, you member. <laughs> So yeah, man, we is heading off to the blue brand. And it's a shame I have to leave on, on, a, on a sour note, but it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Look who it is, SmackDown's newest superstar. SmackDown is lucky to have this addition to its roster. We'll see how he fares here, but I think he has the chance to do big things. Story complete, the club. Now, before we go, I want to confirm if I was right about the story for Raw. Was that the last one? No, it's still a mystery story that's locked. But it doesn't show if you have to be a heel or baby face. So I, I don't know. I, I guess we'll have to come back to Raw and get this figured out. But anyways, um, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did, although I'm still confused about this whole Raw situation. Um, but anyway, it's your boy Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. All that fun stuff. Don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below. It will be very much appreciated. Catch y'all later. Peace.